What up, y'all? They call me Ice Prince. Ice Prince and Manny from West Africa, Nigeria. And right now, I'm tuned in. I'm logged on to my super cool cat chick, Ra Role. The most excited, my favorite, actually. Go check out rarole.com and be on point. Bless. What's up? What's up? It's your girl Rara Lay, and right now I am in at Echo Stage right now with these heavy hitters, India, Ice Prince, Sarkody. What is up, you guys? Yeah, we're all right, man. It's uh, you know, we're here for Ghana. DC is popping tonight. It's a big show. Sarkody, Ice Prince, everybody is live, man. You know. <coughs> what's up, Rara? Like- what's up, Rara? <laughs> what's up? Good to see you, Shorty. Yes, yeah, oh, see, yeah. That's a real man right there. <laughs> yeah, man, we're in DC for GH for for GH for GH All Access concert. I mean, it's Ghana's independence, and if you know the relationship between Ghana and Nigeria, like like you see right now, my man holding the mic for me. That's how blood we are. That's how family we are. And of course, I had to come out and you know be a part of history, be a part of the celebration. Exactly. No, no, no. <laughs> so exactly what he said. You know, um, it's, it's actually history. Um, the the last I remember, Ghana Nigeria meeting and making history. Same when I did at the Apollo and um, Banky came through. That was like everything. You know, you have that African unity. And then I support this because not basically because of you know, not necessarily business wise, but I think it makes sense to bring Africa together. And as he said, the the, the relationship between Ghana and Nigeria is crazy. So. Definitely, tonight is going to be like epic, and we are here, you know, for the first time making history, you know, in DC. Yes. So, speaking of relationships being strong and heavy, can we expect some type of collaboration, some work together going on? Uh, we need to go do your research. I mean, coming up. Coming, coming up, up yeah. hell yeah, man! Like, yeah, yeah we always kick it, man. Like, I don't think we're ever going to stop kicking it. If he stops kicking on me, I'm going to move to his house. <laughs> You feel me? Like we, we. I mean, this is one of my favorite artists in the world. Not even on an African level, but in the world, whole wide world. And it's been a minute. We we've been kicking it together. We, I, I would say our our career to the limelight on an African scene kind of like started around the same time. And since then, you know, it's been nothing but love from this man. And this is my oldest friend, obviously, India. And yeah, man, there's a lot more that's gonna always happen between us. Even from the children that we will bring up, all this he'll sign, all this I'll sign, they're gonna be family forever, man. Sock nations are maniacs. We won. Yeah. So, what does Ghanaian independence mean to you? Because you guys are all coming together to celebrate it. So, what does it mean to you? What is your favorite part about Ghana? Um, well, the independence just means unity, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, you know, we're celebrating unity and all of that. And Nigerian but Ghana is like my second home. That love for uh, that respect for Ghana and all of that. So I mean, it's just unity, man. Pretty much. You know. It means everything, man. It means Africa. It means Ghana is 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 loving here for us to be able to come out here and sell out an arena like like Echo Stage in America, all yeah. the way from over there. You know, what I mean, it's a big, 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 huge deal for Africa, not just for GH or for West Africa. Right. Yeah. Speaking of that, we're at Echo Stage right now. We have had sold out, sold out shows with 50 Cent, Future, like the biggest names of everything and stuff. Are you guys excited to be like just working in the same exact environment? Um, yeah, I'll say, I'll say definitely. Um, but I think we've been prepared back home. You know, we've we've been there. Yeah, yeah, we've been there. We, we've we've seen it. You know, so I wouldn't say. If it happened like some years back, like probably maybe seven years back, I would be really shocked. Like, oh, I'm here, you know. But it's it's one, it's, it's like um, a, a good day at job. It's just one one of those days that we actually, you know, stepping up our game for where, where we are. Because when I was come to the um, the Apollo, actually, I had kind of doubts in the beginning, but then again, when I saw the crowd, you know, it's, it was that made me believe that we, yeah, believe that we're here. So this one is just, you know, still what where we are 
at this moment in our careers and this is what we're supposed to do you know because ice has the following up following he has it you know if he has it visa has it we just need to come together and bring all those people together have that full room because i believe in unity so I, I always say that the apollo i did is my concept but i had to bring everybody on which he was supposed to be on but due to just few things he, he was not yeah, yeah he wasn't able to make no nah, i know i know <laughs> you know but i just just that unity of having other people's following being there's just everything so this is this is definitely history you know it's gonna go in the books and and plus the last time i performed in dc you were there with me right yes. and oh, it was a yeah, yeah you, didn't, I, you didn't have to t- say the name <laughs> but i mean like shout out to, to america artists and what they do as well but i remember the last show i did here on tour with an american artist was not as big as what we're about to do tonight well you know what i mean so picture what we're doing coming from yes the crowd the crowd was definitely vibing but what i mean is that is that was a small show compared to what's about to happen tonight you feel me and this is africa here that was america there but you know that's my point so okay i know you guys are in the u.s right now can we expect you guys to come and do a tour later on in the u.s this year yeah, definitely, man. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of um bookings i would say in the pipeline so we will be coming back and forth you know back and forth not as not like we're trying to come take over America or whatnot, but we got, yeah, there's a few cities to visit. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Well, I mean, yeah, man, you know, like, I'm still fresh in the game, you know what I mean? But hopefully I hope to come around here and do, like, a lot out here, you know, so, yeah. Uh, at all? Yeah. Actually, the first time I came to the States, I did seven states. You know, I was everywhere. I came to D.C., I went to Colorado, like, everywhere. I was everywhere, and then... As, as I'm saying now, it has to be epic. It has to be a statement. I'm not necessarily looking at... I think we've gone past the fact that we want to sell something. We've already sold it. Like, people know Afrobeat. They know African artists. They know what we're doing. They know the movement. So what we want to do now is something like this and make a statement, you know, when we come here. It's not going to be how we used to be way back. This is this is the next level. This is what we're doing. Because from here, tomorrow, I head back to the UK. I do my um, major um, concert in the UK for the first time at the O2 um, Indigo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is where we're looking at at this point. And that's why maybe sometimes I might not even find I saw myself here doing a show until we have something epic like this, you know, for us to come. Yeah, historical. Definitely historical. So I have a few other questions, but I'm going to wait until later when you guys get ready because we're just at the sound check right now behind the scenes and everything. Sound check time. Yeah. See, Fred is all here trying to call us up to the stage. (laughs) Okay, so it's been Rarole with India. Ice Prince, Sokity, the biggest and the greatest from West Africa. Thank you guys so much.